posing your models for portraits so incredibly hard, I was like, what if we get ChatGPT to do this thing? Is ChatGPT better at posing models than me? We're gonna find out. This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 34,000 photographers and find equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. So I asked ChatGPT what the 10 most flattering poses for models are, and we're gonna, we're gonna do them. <laughs> they kind of get like harder and harder as it goes on. So we'll see. ChatGPT would like to remind you, remember to maintain good posture, elongate your neck, and relax your shoulders for the most flattering results. Okay. <laughs> for this, I'm shooting on the Sony a7 IV with a Sigma 24 to 70. Power stance. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Shift your hips slightly to one side and place one foot slightly in front of the other. We don't know. We don't know. Elongate your neck, pull your shoulders back, and put your hands on your hips, so both hands. Okay, you got it? All right. After editing this one, I'd give ChatGPT a two to three out of 10 on it. Here's the reason why. If I just told Amber to do a power pose, I think she would have done a better job of doing a power pose than trying to follow ChatGPT's directions on how to do a power pose. So two to three out of 10, uh, starting off pretty weak. Nine is crossed ankles. Cross one foot in front of the other. Keep your core engaged <laughs> and maintain good posture. So shoulders, yeah. You're crushing that. You're crushing that one already. Let's go. The crossed ankles is just is just a fantastic pose, and it is actually one that I commonly forget about. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give ChatGPT a 10 out of 10 on this one. Like that's a, that's just a solid pose, and I love that photo of Amber. All right, we've got our first seated one, number eight. Sit on the very edge of the chair. Yep, yep. Sit on the edge of a chair, crossing one leg over the other. <laughs> Lean slightly forward, resting your hands on your thighs or knees. Resting, yeah. And engage your core. <laughs> How's it feel? Lean forward, engage core. It looks good. Now look at the look at the ocean. <laughs> Was your core engaged? She loves it. She loves it, ChatGPT. She loves it. I'd say it nailed the sit on the edge of the chair and be sure that your core is tight with this seated pose. That's something that experienced photographers know to tell a model to do. So again, nine, 10 out of 10. It's a, it's a traditional pose, but like obviously that's what the AI is pulling from is all of the internet and these traditional flattering poses on the internet. So yeah, nine or 10 out of 10. Over to the top. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just don't even look down. Just don't even look down. Woo! <laughs> Number seven, Chad GPT calls the S curve. Shift your weight onto one leg and position your hips to create an S shape with your body. I think Amber did a fantastic job executing the S curve. I'm not sure if we were doing it right, but like based on the descriptiveness that ChatGPT gave, I feel like this is what it wanted. And yeah, it looks she she pulled it off. I don't know, she pulled it off. So I don't know. Let's give it a let's give it a six or a seven out of ten. That was shocking to me because when we were up on the roof, it did. I was like, I don't think that this is gonna result in a good photo, but I really do like these, both of these photos. All right, this one is candid laughter. Think of something funny to create a genuine smile and laughter. This will result in a captivating image. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> this one's a total fail, but it's not because of ChatGPT. Obviously, candid laughter is fantastic. It's just that I had Amber suspended like 50 feet above the ground and it, it was terrifying. And I can confirm it was extremely terrifying to be on that, on those metal stairs. So ChatGPT, not super fresh, but but a good, a good pose. You know, we weren't asking for something to be brand new. We we're saying, hey, what's the most flattering? And candid laughter is incredibly flattering. So nine, 10 out of 10. Sorry, I didn't execute that one well. Made it. If you're a photographer, which I'm assuming you are, you need to understand what PPA has to offer. As soon as you join, right off the bat, you get up to $15,000 in photo equipment insurance. That's just included with the membership. That's full replacement coverage with a flat deductible of 350 bucks, or you can do a repair deductible of 50 bucks. This one's near and dear to my heart. It's called Data Loss Prevention Services. It's coverage for photographers, small businesses. In the case that you end up losing data or photos and your clients are unhappy, it helps you A, either recover those photos, or B, helps you with the legal fees in case the client's unhappy. Lastly, PPA is an education platform. There's over 900 videos with tutorials and classes and just everything that you need to learn in order to grow your business. Membership is only $27.92 a month and whether you've been doing this for a while or whether you're just starting out, don't go it alone. Join over 34,000 photographers, hit the link in the description, check out PPA. Leaning on a wall, lean against the wall, placing one foot flat against it and the other slightly bent in front. This one is not an avant-garde pose. Like this is one they've used in senior photos since 1927, you know? So the lean against the wall, I'm just not a big fan of this shot. I went, I moved over to the side because like that profile shot looking to the side, I think that that works a lot better. It is a very traditional pose and one that for me, I like to create separation between the background and the subject of a photo. That's just like my style of photo. So I'm gonna give ChatGPT a four or a five out of 10 on this one just cause it's kind of necessary, but also not my favorite. Am I getting too subjective? This one's called the chin on hand. Gently place one hand on your chin with your elbow resting on your knee. This will create a thoughtful expression and emphasize your facial features. This is where we started to go off script a little bit. I really liked this setting and I liked what Amber was doing with it. And then at the end I asked her to move her hand just and it resulted in what I would consider a very good photo of her. And that's probably the moral of the story here is like just inspiration. It's a starting point. It's a launching pad for artists to jump off of right now. Number three, over the shoulder, face away from the camera and look back over your shoulder with a slight twist in your waist. This will accentuate your jawline. The second to last one is a laying down photo, which is like, how do you make a laying down photo look natural, ChatGPT? Like, where are we gonna lay? <laughs> Let's just like go out on the front steps and you can lay on the front steps. Okay. <laughs> laying down, lie down on your side, propping yourself up on your elbow. Yeah, it's marble or something, granite. Bend your top leg at the knee and place it in front of your bottom leg to accentuate your curves. <laughs> <laughs> The laying down, it just ended up being really fun. Maybe I'll give it a six out of 10 because it was so fun. I never know how to make laying down shots look natural in this, in like a portrait setting. So that's, maybe that's more on me, but uh, six out of 10 because it was so fun. Hands and hair, run your hands through your hair or gently tug at a few strands. Keep your shoulders relaxed and your elbows slightly bent. Hands through the hair, stunning shot, always love it. Again, pretty traditional. 
I'm gonna give it a nine or a 10 out of 10 because I love these photos of Amber. Definitely a launch pad for an artist like you to be able to create something really cool from. We're still at the point where this is how we're doing AI assisted photography is it's a launching pad and then we take that creativity in and run with it. Major thanks to Professional Photographers of America for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to go down into the description and click that link. They're just offering so much for that small monthly subscription fee. Like it just, you just gotta go check it out.